Hi, I'm Kimberly Allison for Starliner Music, and this is Fingerboard Geometry Part 1. Today we're going to talk about the octave. Now the octave sounds like the first two notes of the tune Somewhere Over the Rainbow. So let's hear what that sounds like. So we have... Okay, that's an octave. Now, basically if you download the diagram you can see um, the visual representation of what an octave looks like. Um, if the octave points towards the bridge from the lowest note to the highest note, it's pointing towards the bridge, um, then you skip one string and one fret. So that's an octave towards the bridge. And that works pretty much everywhere on the guitar. If you do it from the fifth string, it works the same way towards the bridge. Now, when you get to the D string, it's just slightly different. It's adjusted for the tuning. As you probably know, when you tune the guitar like this, there's a hiccup when you get to the B string, and it's off-tuned by a fret. So when you get to the D string to play an octave, you skip one string and two frets. So you expand to adjust for the tuning toward the bridge. So this is an octave expanded for the tuning. Then uh, if you go to the next string, the G string, you also have to expand to adjust for the tuning. Again, octave towards the bridge. Now, everything that can be played toward the bridge can also be played toward the nut. That would be the other way, towards the nut here. So, uh, you can look at the diagram. These are all shown. Um, if my pinky is on the root, say in this case A, this works for anywhere on the E string though, you can skip two strings and two frets and you'll be on the octave. So I skipped over two strings and two frets, and here's my octave A. So that's my octave. Now, it, it's when you go to the fifth string, it's adjusted for the tuning because now I've crossed over uh, from the B string to the G string where the tuning is adjusted, and um, so I have to actually now adjust in or contract toward the nut. So expand toward the bridge, contract toward the nut to adjust for the tuning. So here is an octave. Okay. And then if I want to find an octave from the D string, it's also contracted. Okay, so now let's put this all together. Uh, one more time review. So we have toward the nut. That's an octave toward the nut. Pitch A toward the bridge. Toward the nut D. Notice it's contracted. Toward the nut, or toward the bridge D. It's normal. Toward the nut G. Notice it's contracted. Toward the bridge is expanded. And the pitch C, we can only go toward the bridge. And it's expanded. Okay? That concludes part one of fingerboard geometry, the octave.